Hey everyone, Shihan Ali Alberigo here from Long Island Ninjutsu Centers. I'm also a coach at Taking It to the Next Level and Next Level School Owner Club. This is my blog and I'm doing a video part of the blog today. I woke up inspired this morning to do this video presentation because I had some things running through my head and I just wanted to quickly talk about them. And I'll try my best to keep this short. Spontaneous fulfillment of desire or you get what you think or wish for, right? your dreams manifest. It really all depends on what you think of in your life and what you surround yourself with that actually creates the reality of your life. Now, I'm not talking about this mystic, spiritual kind of side where, hey, we wish for something and eventually it'll come true. I'm thinking about how we set our mind to do certain things and how we think creates our destiny. So in other words, I've been surrounded with a few uh, people in my school, um, some parents that haven't been the most positive. I don't know what's going on in their lives. I don't know what they're going through, but somehow it's manifesting in a negative energy in my school. They may be unhappy with me. They may be unhappy with our lessons and and so on and so forth. Why, I'm not sure. They've been with me for a long time. However, it is happening. So I've been internalizing that and becoming a little bit down and negative and, and, and dealing with this issue because it seems to me that it's what's controlling my mind. It's not that that's all that goes on in my school because it's a very, very, very small portion of what goes on. However, I have it. It's in the forefront, F-O-M-A, front of mind awareness, and that's what I've been thinking about. The other day, you know, the universe presented me with parent after parent after parent after parent, and no joke, 15, 20 parents just randomly came up to me telling me how much they love my school and what we do and who we are and what we represent and how we teach and how their children have been affected, how they've been affected, how their family has been affected in a positive way. It was the universe's way of reminding me that these few negative things don't overshadow the positive. However, when we have negatives in our life, we tend to focus on those negatives, right? And those negatives overshadow the positives when in reality, it's our choice, your choice, your choice to pick what you want to focus on. So you could say it's really cold outside, or you could say, what a beautiful day is no snow. Or you could say, hey, what a beautiful day it snowed. I get to stay in and spend time with my family. You choose how you want to you know, work on that, that particular moment in time. You're the one who's in control of your destiny. I know of stories that I've read of people that have been in prison, yet they turned it into the most positive thing. People who were kidnapped and turned their, their, you know, their situation into a positive thing. You know, people who are, have bad, bad situations in their lives, they're dealt a, a, dealt a bad deck of cards, yet they turned it around to be something so positive. So I'm asking you today to listen to this blog and then hopefully take what you have and, and overshadow the positive, overshadow the negative. I don't want you to let those few negative things, you know, the guy on the road who annoyed you or, you know, getting to your job and someone saying something negatively about your outfit or whatever. Who cares about that? Let's think of the positives. Let's ice the cake with the positives. Let's, you know, think about all those great things in life. I'm often reminded about that from my puppies, you know, Ninja and mocha, two little tiny multi poos. And, you know, I leave and I go out if it's just to put the garbage out. When I come back in the door, they're as excited to see me as they were when I, you know, when I was there. They never greet me at the door with a bad attitude. They never greet me with a negative attitude. They're always positive. They're always happy to see me. I want all of us and all of the people who are listening, and maybe we could spread this, you know, make it viral somehow, share it with others to stay positive and focus on the positive and ignore and push aside the negative. Don't don't let those few naysayers over, overshadow the great things you have in your life. That's my message for today. I hope it made sense. I appreciate you listening, and I do appreciate you sharing my messages so that we could help others. That's my goal for this year. It has been for the last few years, and that's why I wrote my book, The Five Gateways to Happiness, just to help shift positivity on the planet and help others experience happiness to the fullest. Thank you very much. Arigato.